Hear me out. What if we found a new, beautiful, pristine Earth 2.0 and then blew it up? It's Solar Smash. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kid and welcome back to Solar Smash. In case you guys don't know, the developers have been nice enough to send me over the beta version of the next update that is not yet publicly available. So that's what gave us access to the beautiful new cube world and also the Gauss Cannon. It's, it's, it's real cool. But along with this new update came the custom planet creator, the new and improved version. So a lot of you wanted me to mess around with the new custom planet creator, which of course we're gonna do. But first things first, I actually wanted to go back to the main menu and I wanted to check out System Smash. I don't know if there's anything new in System Smash, but even if there isn't anything new in System Smash, it's fun to basically make the sun turn into a blue giant or whatever it is. And you guys probably noticed uh, there's Emmy in the background. We got baby camp today. She's hanging out or, or swinging out or whatever it is that babies do in swings. She's having a great time. She's just kind of staring at me and you know, just being super cute as babies do. But let's see, is there anything different going on here? I mean, as far as I can tell, it looks like all the planets are where they're supposed to be for now. Uh, let's shoot the sun with the, the fire beam, which I think makes it grow, right? That's how we make it into uh into a giant like blue star or does it turn into a red? No, it, it turns into a blue giant, right? Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing. I, I love this so much, but uh, it doesn't blow up, if, if you guys remember. You can keep shooting it with the giant laser. In fact, we'll speed up time, uh, but it does not actually blow up. It just, it just becomes blue and really big. I have to say though, despite turning the sun into what appears to be an extremely dangerous explosive device, the planets seem to be doing all right. I mean, they're maintaining their orbit. They're just kind of doing their thing. Although, do you think that like, like life on Earth at this point is, is doing good? Probably not. I would expect that uh, we're all a little bit toastier than we used to be. Although, I mean, the Earth looks okay. I don't know about the people on it, but as far as, you know, surface level, everything's dandy until you drop a black hole on top of it, of course, because that's, that's a thing that happens from time to time. Now let's look at it. Oh no. <laughs> Gosh, wait a second. That was crazy. Did you guys see that? The sun is like bouncing the black holes. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is awesome that the black hole like sucks the energy from the, the sun, but it's also awesome that the sun bumps the black holes like out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> the black holes are like absorbing all of the energy from the sun until it is just nothing. That's what happens when black holes bully a sun, I guess. So as far as I can tell, there's nothing new here in System Smash, but that's okay because it's fun to revisit every once in a while. Now let's head back to Planet Smash. And there's actually something really dumb that I want to try with Cube World. I just want to fly through the center of Cube World. I know the perfect way to make the perfect tunnel. Just like that. Uh, now, I don't know how big the spaceship is, but uh, remember, we can fly a spaceship. If we set the missile counter to a specific number, which I forget, it allows us to fly the ship. I need to look it up. Okay, so I looked it up. It's a uh, 66. We need to set the number to 66. And then, of course, we need to change to like the targeting mode, like, like so. And then uh, that should work, right? Or, am I now a, a spaceship? I don't appear to be a spaceship. Wait, I'm a spaceship. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're flying through the center of Cube World. It's happening, Emmy. I know this is all very exciting. I just, I need to not crash. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. This is gonna get, this is gonna get a little scary, but also extremely awesome. Um, I, I can't say every day I get to fly a spaceship through the center of a square planet. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. Why haven't we done that up to this point? I guess I didn't think about like flying a spaceship through a tunnel uh, until the planet was square. But here we are. 
doing just that. And Emmy seems pretty excited about it. Also, we got another silly recommendation in the comment section. A lot of you guys saying, uh, I should completely freeze Cube Planet. Why would anyone ever want to do that? To turn it into a giant ice cube. Of course. Why didn't I think of it myself? Well, your wish is my command. Let's turn Cube World into Ice Cube World. I feel like in, in some ways, I don't even need to freeze the bottom half of Ice Cube World because it's already Antarctica. But let's make it even colder. Just doing my part. I gotta say, this is looking kind of pretty. Keep your drink nice and chilled. There's about 300 million people left to be frozen, encased in carbonite like Han Solo. Oh gosh, okay, it's like a picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, sorry about this. Okay, that is actually awesome. This was a great idea. <laughs> It's just a giant planet-sized ice cube. And now we're gonna punch a hole through it. Well, I gotta say Ice Cube Planet was a resounding success. But now let's play around with the custom planet creator. And that is not where we do the custom planet creator. There's the custom planet. I think I created one last time, just kind of like super quickly. I just wanna see, can we load it? Look at that. That is so cool. So we can save our creations for absolute destruction later on. How nice of the devs to provide us with the ability to create beautiful, scenic, idyllic planets and then blow them up. Speaking of idyllic planets, imagine that Earth is no more and humans had to move on to a new Earth, find a new Earth to occupy. Why don't we create Earth 2.0, make it even better than Earth 1, you know, because it's the sequel to Earth, and then we'll see where the journey takes us. Although, let's be honest with each other, we're probably going to destroy it. So what does Earth 2.0 look like? I mean, it's got to be green. It's got to be so, so lush. Um, um, like, I don't want to make it like fluorescent green, but I do want the land to be like so, so green. And then I want the water to be like that tropical blue color, right? Like, you know, you're in paradise. Let's see if we can get it a nice light blue, like, like, like that, that, that might be the dream right there. Can, can we set the water to that? Ooh, that is pretty. That is a pretty blue. I gotta say, that's real nice. But now we need to draw some continents. So let's make some land, shall we? Uh, and we can adjust the size of our brush in case you didn't see the previous episode. It's super cool. So what shape is the first continent going to take? I, I don't know. I mean, probably just like a circle. It's not working. What's going on? I think I messed something up. I don't know what. Let's restart. Okay, first things first. We got to set the color of the land. And like we said, it's got to be real, real lush. Um, I'm thinking like, like even that color. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Maybe a little bit lighter. Like I said, I don't want it to look like acid, but I want it to be very, very nice. Deserts? No, that's a thing of the past. All deserts are now really, really lush green land. And then of course the water, tropical blue. Whoo, that's real nice. That's real nice. I want to live there. All right. Now, let's see if this works. We need to draw some, some continents. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, all right. How about like a, a donut-shaped continent? There you go, that's nice. And then, so that's, that's Donut-topia. And then off to the west of Donut-topia, we have Triangleburg. It's Triangleburg. Everybody is very happy in Triangleburg. There you go. I'm just drawing shapes on a planet. It's very strange. Um, we can also remember we can adjust the size of our brush. So maybe we'll make some like like smaller islands, like off to the south over here. We'll just we'll kind of do some like little spatterings, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this like this kind of loops around like that. Ooh, I like the way that's looking right now. Although it kind of looks like a weird face. He's got an, he's got a triangle eye. I'm not sure how that happened. Let's let's get some little islands going on up here. Okay, let's try to get like a little bit more of an organic shaped uh, a continent. Maybe I'll I'll lower the size of the brush here so they're not such broad strokes. Okay, that looks like kind of like a cow skull. It's cow skull island, but he also has horns. So now it's a now it's a bull skull. Okay, th this is getting weird. I, I like Earth 2.0 though. It's a nice place. Here, let's let's draw some some little I mean, that's not little. This is this is not a little island anymore. This is like a massive island. In fact, let, let's connect it to to Cow Skull Island. There you go. Okay. That is a massive continent. It's almost connected to Donutopia. 
but not quite. They are separate continents. And then, I mean, if it's my planet that I'm kind of creating here, then um, then there's going to be a continent that's shaped like the letter K for my name. Why? Because we can. And also because I'm out of ideas. Let's just let's just do like a, a crazy like whole bunch of islands here. Like like maybe if I well, now we're getting, now we're talking. Like, look at that. Like, that, that's so cool looking. Oh my gosh. I love this. We need more islands up in the northern part of the land. Th that is cool though. You got to admit, like the way that the islands just kind of pop up, that those kind of look like a cat paw prints. But I think we've done enough damage. And by damage, I mean, we've created Earth 2.0. I mean, what's not to love there? Look at how green everything is. But now we need to add population. So remember, uh, we can we can like target certain areas. I feel like a lot of people are going to live on Triangle. What did I call it? Triangle Berg or something? I don't know. I'm still working out the names. Uh, let's get a larger paintbrush for the amount of people. And of course, uh, you know, you'd actually you'd think that more people would live on the coast, right? So let's actually get quite a few people. Like there's a lot of people on the heart of Triangle. Topia. Let's just face it. There's just a lot of people everywhere. A lot of people living on Triangle Topia. I wonder if it actually gives us like a counter of how many people are on the planet once we add in the population. And people love it in Donutburg. I mean, who doesn't love living on a giant continent that is shaped like a donut? And uh, the trees actually grow donuts. Fun fact. All flavors of donuts. They're basically like, instead of fruit trees, they're donut trees which leads to people not being super healthy. But you know what? This is our own creation. Let's say that donuts are good for you on Earth 2.0. Take that. And then let's add some people to these little islands. Oh, right. There's weird bull skull island. People don't love it there. So, you know, it's not going to be quite as big uh, as far as population goes. But, you know, I mean, there's still a decent amount of people living there. Let's get some people on these little islands. You got to get population on the islands. And then everybody loves living on K Island. It's actually a continent. It's K continent. And, and on Earth 2.0, they they actually spell continent with the letter k instead of c i know it's crazy very strange super overpopulated <laughs> oh my gosh if i just hold oh my gosh look at how bright that is uh, the center of the k <laughs> it's like the sun you just can't walk around anymore everybody's just super cramped Let's get this island loaded up. I really like this island. This one turned out super cool because it's like much more natural looking. Whereas uh, many of the other continents that I created are obviously not natural. My bad. I'm very interested to see though, like, you know how there's like a, a population counter with Earth? I would love to see if there's a population counter with this. Okay, I think all of the islands have more or less been populated at this point. So let's see if I get out of build mode. Oh my God! Look at that! There's six billion people. We can gotta get more people living here. I mean, it is very cool because, like, you can see, like, there's Donut Topia. It's got, it's got lights all over it. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I love this. This is awesome. Can we get beyond a billion people? I, I mean, we're kind of gonna break things, but that's half the fun. I think before I break stuff, though, I am gonna save this in slot two. Can I do that? I don't know if it worked or not. It didn't really give me an indicator. Let's let's crank up the population brush and just go absolutely nuts. Let's make every one of these islands look like the center of the sun. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, Triangle Topia. I mean, things on, on Earth 2.0 were so great. People couldn't resist moving there. Now there's billions and billions of people living on Earth 2.0. You thought they were just going for vacation. They never left. Wow, that is very bright. It's kind of making my eyes hurt. Donutopia is getting packed in. It's looking like every single sidewalk in New York City. Shoulder to shoulder. Earth 2.0 isn't feeling so great anymore. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it grows donut fruits. There's too many people. Now we need an Earth 3.0. We're turning cow continent into the most vibrant white. It's so bright. 
can't even look directly at it. It's like fire. It's just pure fire. Except for instead of fire, it's people. But let's be honest, there's gonna be a lot of fires with this many people. These poor little islands, they're gonna be so packed in. How can we sustain this kind of population? I don't think we can. Humans. I haven't held my finger that long on a single spot. I wonder if you can get even brighter than where we're at. There is kind of a, a next level to the brightness that I'm getting from this little set of islands um, because I am holding my finger there longer than I have been on other islands. You can you can kind of see like th this is like off to the right. It's a little bit more yellow, whereas uh, the islands here on the left are just so, so bright. Look at these islands. They were trying to hide. Oh, no, there's no hiding from the population monster. OK, have I managed to, to ruin Earth 2.0? I think so. OK, let's see what the population looks like now. 30 billion. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at all those lights. Oh my goodness. Um, yes, we have made a terrible, terrible mistake. And the only solution is to blow it up. How are we going to blow it up? Well, I mean, we're going to do what we do in Solar Smash. Like we're going to launch a moon at the center of Donuttopia. How many people do you think are living in Donuttopia? I guess we're about to find out. We can just subtract, uh, you know, 30 billion. 26 billion is about 4 billion. I'm more worried about the donut fruits. How about lightning storms? Anybody want lightning storms? Interplanetary lightning storms? Oh goodness. Oh, oh. Okay. We did we did just vaporize everything. Okay. Um when I reset, oh, that's a bummer. It resets the whole planet. So we need to go and load. Okay, but I don't have the crazy population at this point. In fact, I don't have any population at this point, at least based on what it's saying at the bottom of the screen, but there's lights everywhere. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I wonder if it would be possible to get a population up to a trillion. Like, you'd have to have a lot of land mass, but that might be a fun experiment to try in the future. I don't know, for now, I just wanna cut Earth 2.0 in half. Why? Well, once again, because we can. Let's start on the letter K, right down the center. Oh, baby. Oh, it's going to be. I mean, if nothing else, it's going to be bad for the population of Earth 2.0, but it's going to look real cool. And let's be honest, that's what truly matters. Let's speed up time so we can uh, cut through this thing a little bit faster. I wanted to make a nice, like, narrow, clean cut down the center so I didn't crank up the power of the laser. But if we cranked up the power of the laser, we could get through this thing a lot faster. But that's no fun. I remember when we first started playing Solar Smash, you didn't have the option to change the power of the laser. The laser power was set, and you got what you got. But the developers have been doing such a good job of adding more and more content to the game. I cannot wait to see what they continue to add. I mean, every single update is something new and surprising for sure. And I know you guys are still waiting for this update. Be patient. It will be available soon. Hang in there. You guys will be able to play it soon enough. But for now, you can just enjoy watching me cause some destruction to cube planets and custom Earth 2.0s. Ah, oh, man, I changed the angle of my camera, and now it might be a little bit off. It, it won't be as, as centered as it was before. That's one of the hard things about cutting a globe in half. You're dealing in three dimensions, and it's it gets all wonky when you change the camera angle. It's fine. Either way, we're gonna end up with a beautiful disaster at the end, and that's what truly matters. We're almost there. It is taking a very long time, but it'll be worth it. The left side of the planet didn't want to be connected to the right side of the planet. They weren't getting along anymore. I know, it's weird. Well, oh, there's just like a little bit. There's a little bit. I think we did it. I think we're through. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is so so cool looking. I love the contrast between like the super bright green and that wonderful blue and then just like molten lava core of a planet. Ah, oh, Solar Smash, you are beautiful. Well, I think there's only one way to truly make sure that Earth 2.0 is left in a perfect situation. And by perfect situation, I mean um, fully vaporized. And that is, of course, the uh, the mega alien cannon blaster. This is going to be a bad day for Earth 2.0, but it's going to look real cool. So at least we got that going for us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
Solar Smash, please never stop being amazing. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this latest episode of Solar Smash. Be sure to let me know of things that you want me to try in this latest update. And of course, we will wait for it to be publicly available and then we'll wait for the next awesome update. Who knows what they'll add from there? But either way, Earth 2.0, it was fun while it lasted. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.